Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the Automatic Dirt Removal Node. So we're going to jump into Fusion and we've got some old media here. Just resized up because it was super tiny. But uh, we're going to do some automatic dirt removal because on this old footage you can see uh, we've got some film dirt and some uh, kind of nasty stuff going on. Which is cool if that's the look we're going for, but if we want to clean it up a little bit, we can use a node called Automatic Dirt Removal. And this node is a DaVinci Resolve FX node available with Infusion, and it is studio version only, just so you know. So we're going to go ahead and add in Automatic Dirt Removal. And under Motion Estimation Type, this is just giving you the type, whether it's None, faster, normal, or better. And all this is going to do is this is going to give you a trade-off between uh, performance and quality. So better means it's going to give you better quality, but it's going to be harder on your uh, computer. And faster is going to give you lowest quality, but it's going to be faster on your computer. Under neighboring frames, this is just uh, how many neighboring frames it's going to look at to kind of judge what is and what is in dirt. For your repair strength, this is just how strong it is. So if we go ahead and find a place where we've got some dirt and uh, let's go ahead and bring this in a two by so we can kind of compare. Let's uh, fit this and we'll find a place that has a lot of dirt here. So right here, we can see we've got quite a bit of dirt. And if we bring in our automatic dirt removal, you can see how much that cleaned. So under a repair strength, we can uh, tell it how strong it's going to apply that repair. And under our dirt size threshold, we can change that dirt size. And if we select show repair, it's going to show a mask of what is actually being removed from this film. Under fine controls, we have motion threshold which lets you uh, pick what determines what is actual required to be motion and what is actually dirt. So if we got a lot of movement in there, like say clouds or waves or something, if you play with this, this will uh, kind of balance that so it's not removing other moving things from your images. And this edge ignore allows you to ignore hard edges that are being affected by that dirt. So if we look at our two images, you can see it is much cleaner than our original image. But just so you know, it's not going to get rid of like banding and stuff like that. We can still see these banding and minimize them a little bit, but it's not going to get rid of those. It's just getting rid of those large dirt flecks that are popping in and popping out. So that is the automatic dirt removal tool. I will see you in the next no breakdown.